Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about types of enzyme inhibition. So what are the types of enzyme inhibition and uh, what are their properties? Because the enzyme inhibition are of different types. We'll see the types first, then we'll also see the graph, particularly the double reciprocal plot, how it looks like. And also we are going to see how they are being regulated, what are the parameters and how the parameters are altered. Generally, the enzyme inhibition is counted based on the parameters Vmax and Km value change over the substrate concentration. We'll see that in a moment. First, the types of enzyme inhibitor can be classified and divided into three different classes here. One is the allosteric regulation, where a regulator molecule binds to a different site in the enzyme except for the active site, known as allosteric site. Binding of the regulator to the allosteric site can inhibit the enzyme's active site's functionality to convert substrate into product. Then comes a reversible inhibition. Then comes irreversible inhibition. The irreversible inhibition example is known as suicide inhibition or suicide inhibitors that can inhibit the enzyme in such a way that the modification of the enzyme is formed in such a way the active site of the enzyme no longer become capable of converting substrate into product. It is irreversible. We cannot reverse this process. While reversible type are the most common three types of inhibition that we know. One is competitive inhibition, another one is non-competitive inhibition, another one is uncompetitive inhibition. The non-competitive inhibition is also known as kind of mixed inhibition. So what are they? Let's see that in a moment. The competitive inhibition is a place or idea where the substrate and inhibitor competes with each other to bind to the active site of the enzyme. While in uncompetitive inhibition and non-competitive inhibition, there is no competition in terms of binding capability between the substrate and inhibitor. While in non-competitive and uncompetitive, the inhibitor binds to a totally different site than the active site. But in competitive inhibition, the inhibitor binds to the active site of the enzyme. Now let's look at the types of enzyme inhibition in terms of the change in parameters. So we have competitive inhibition, uncompetitive inhibition and non-competitive or mixed inhibition. So let's see in competitive inhibition, the Km value is increased but the Vmax remain unaffected. So in a competitive inhibition, the graph looks something like this where the graph intersects at the y-axis. So x-shaped graph with blue and red line x crossing each other intersecting the y-axis. Okay, And in this case, the interception at y-axis Km is increased, Vmax is unchanged. The Vmax that is present in the y-axis remains unchanged. Same point for both without inhibitor, with inhibitor. But the Km value increases. Km denotes affinity for enzyme towards its substrate. So if Km is increased, that means the affinity for the substrate for the enzyme towards its substrate decreases. Uncompetitive inhibition, Km is reduced, Vmax is also reduced. It looks something like this, where the graph, the double reciprocal plot, looks like parallel lines between inhibitor and without inhibitor concepts. Here you can see that these are a parallel lines and here the Vmax and Km both are reduced. So of course uh, Km is reduced means in this case particularly the Km interacts. So Km value reduced means the affinity towards enzymes towards its substrate increases and the Vmax can never be reached. So the Vmax without the inhibitor is highest but the Vmax with inhibitor can never be reached. Now, in non-competitive or mixed inhibition, the Km is unaffected while the Vmax is reduced. You can see in this picture, the interception at y-axis are separate, but the interception in the x-axis are same point. So that means the Km is unaltered, so affinity is unaltered, but the maximum velocity is decreased or reduced. And that's quite logical because if you use inhibitor that binds to a separate site rather than the active site of the enzyme, it reduces the maximum velocity for the reaction. But in this case, the Km will be unaffected. What we see in case of competitive inhibition is that the enzyme binds to substrate to produce enzyme substrate complex. The enzyme can also bind to inhibitor and can form enzyme inhibitor complex and it will not produce any product. While in case of uncompetitive inhibition, the enzyme interacts with substrate forming enzyme substrate complex and the inhibitor binds to only enzyme substrate complex and thus forming 
enzyme substrate inhibitor complex does not produce any product while in non competitive or mixed inhibition the enzyme substrate the inhibitor can binds to enzyme substrate complex to form enzyme substrate inhibitor complex or the inhibitor can directly bind to enzyme to form enzyme inhibitor complex both are possible that's why we call them mixed type of inhibition so these are the differences between the types of enzyme inhibition i believe you have a clear idea about it now if you like this video please please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that in future thank you